everybody what's going on welcome back to another reaction so uh this music video kind of snuck on me by surprise i was going through my youtube homepage, and i think i saw a fellow reactor lktv shout out to you uh check him out if you haven't yet is awesome uh but i think he reacted to either this music video or maybe someone else reacted to a dance performance i think they have something new that they just released like a day or so as of me recording this reaction at least and it kind of got me a little intrigued just the name of the song itself and the name of the group i want to say that maybe somebody mentioned this group once or twice but it, it it's not a group that i heard a lot about so i'm actually quite excited just based off some of the thumbnails that i later checked out when i checked out the search results for this song and uh you know very very excited to see what this is all about so without further ado we're diving into b first for the very first time on this channel with mainstream so let's get into it whoa drone city また国からそこまでズームズームズームあれ I love your hair, dude. Oh. Oh. As they're blocking the stream of traffic. Oh. Oh. Damn. Okay, so before we go any further into this music video, I do want to, you know, just give a shout out to the actual group B first, as I found an article that talks about this music video. And I feel like it's important just to show a little bit of uh, appreciation as there's a couple of comments from the choreographer Sota, who worked with Stray Kids and NCTU recently. There's a mention of the director who uh, won various uh, awards at various film festivals. And also talking about how this music video was shot in places that are seemingly impossible to get permissions to shoot in. Giving life to these lyrics as they talk about from the bottom to the top. As they perform from the deeper underground to the summit of a high-rise building. This music video also features 154 backup dancers. There's drones, of course. There's Harry helicopter uh, aerial filming and uh, they also mentioned that there's a lot of VFX technology that went into it and that Daichi uh, Daichi Yasuda who is the director have spent he and his crew have spent over 720 hours of editing to create the futuristic Neo Tokyo this is the most ambitious music video ever by B first now the song itself i feel like there's some really cool lyrics obviously the drones and everything is fairly self-explanatory but the lyrics themselves no footprints where the treasure's hidden like if you go to the same place that everyone else is going because that's the popular thing to do to become famous you just follow the trend i feel like that's very you know very much a commentary on society especially with platforms such as TikTok and you know YouTube Shorts everybody following a trend 
and becoming famous off of a trend rather off of something that you do yourself. Although, I mean, I guess I'm no different because I'm doing something that other people have done before. I'm reacting to something that then developed into something that I really, really love doing, which is talk about whether it's K-pop or in this case, J-pop, um, which is also something that I should have mentioned in the beginning. But uh, they talk about how you don't have to be smart. Everything is just amazing. Everything or is crazy. Like there's a level of fakeness. There's a level of not being able to be original because it's too hard. It's, it's easy. So it feels like to be famous nowadays than it ever was before. Not that we don't have instances where people became famous back in the day from just following a trend or something or stealing something, an idea or, an, or something else. But it's much easier in 2023 with technology and social media to become famous than it ever was before. But the line, no footprints, where the treasure is hidden is a super important line because everybody's going to the same fucking well. But where the real treasure hides, you won't see any footprints because it's supposed to be hidden. It's, it's no longer treasure. It no, it's like gold that has lost its value because everybody has it. It's like the normal currency. So it has no value nowadays. So they are just trying to focus on instead of fighting someone to be different, they're not doing it for the sake of spiting someone and trying to be holier than everyone else. They're cool with, with the society that they live in, but at the same time, we want to be different because that's how we feel. We want to do something that hasn't been done before. So I don't want to get in, in a fight now. I'm not doing this because I want to fight you. I'm doing this because I just feel like I want to be a new standard. As literally they go into like this highway and the choreography, much like we talked about with shooting in underground places to shooting on this highway. Basically, you have a couple of rows of people. Some of them are pointing an arrow up while the others are pointing an arrow down, which also could be like a bit of a representation of how hard it is to be different nowadays, how easier it is to just follow the same trends. Uh, so I feel like that was really, really cool. Also, there's a comment from... Uh, Sky High, a statement from Sky High, which I guess is like the production company or the label or something. Uh, most people chase after what's popular and what's trending. That trends, uh, that tends to grow bigger along with the growth of entertainment and culture. I believe that uh, the role of an artist is to not just chase such trends, but to also create them. And by releasing this song as the lead track many people may think that it is unusual or unexpected but that's not how we see it we're not trying to grab the attention or go against the majority but rather uh, we're just trying to refine our own style which isn't kind of like a nice diplomatical way of saying like we we don't have a problem with what is happening but at the same time we don't want to follow the trend we want to create our own trend our own standard the director uh, Daichi Yasuda uh, talked about this. Uh, from deeper underneath Tokyo, the cameras chase be first, moving upwards as they go from underground to becoming uh, the new mainstream. Uh, with that motion, I wanted to express them striving for e ever greater heights by presenting mainstream to the world, aiming to create an original depiction of Tokyo that cannot be found anywhere else in the world. We negotiated with authorities for permission to film in unusual places, such as a highway that was still under construction. So great timing. Uh, also, by applying top class technology of VFX, along with overwhelming passion from engineers and creators, we aim to set a new global standard as a music video as well. That is fucking <laughs> amazing. Uh, like so far. This is really awesome, and uh, these guys are definitely showing off uh, their own colors. Literally underneath Tokyo underground. Very cool.
down Then they open up, pave the way, their own way I also like the choreography almost like by just being nice for the sake of not having anyone talk shit to you and just following the trends and doing everything like a good, you know, civilian and, and stuff. You're kind of like a puppet on a string in a way. That's kind of what it made me f- think uh, of. Uh, stay, staying humble, not to stand out. Not that they necessarily say that it's okay to be a cocky, arrogant son of a whatever, but, uh, you know, a lot of people are, are almost like afraid of, of being misinterpreted as cocky because there's a fine line between confidence and cockiness. And a lot of times people that are aiming to misinterpret you will 100% mistake your confidence for arrogance or cockiness and take shots at you just because you're different. So you would rather to just be humble and try to be in, in reality you trying to be humble is going to be misinterpreted again by you being fake. So it's almost like no matter what you do, be your own fucking self. Otherwise, people will still find a way to take shots at you. So uh, we might as well just set our own fucking standard and just be ourselves uh, because either way, people will say something negative regardless. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, Moving up the ranks <laughs> kind of. Oh We're gonna shock you This is shock therapy <laughs> That's awesome Holy shit. Damn. That's amazing. Holy shit. Real mainstream. The choreography was absolutely outstanding. And they literally stand on their own. In the, in a sea of people, and I'm guessing yeah, creative staff, that's really really cool. They made it to the top by being themselves, which is why they're, there's only a little portion, which is them in that building, surrounded by everyone else who is chasing that same fame and being popular for the sake of being popular. This was amazing. Like, the beat itself is nasty. I love, I love the singing in that chorus. Uh, there's, like, this note that... We are, uh, are, and then he kind of like bends it. it. It sounds so uh, addicting. It's almost like hypnotizing in a way. This whole music video is like basically like their entire evolution going up from literally the underground and little by little climbing higher and higher and higher, and then going up the elevator to the final level, top of the building, top of the world by being ourselves while everyone else is pretty much the same. Like all of you guys are fucking copycats of one another. None of you have an original bone in your body while we are at our own little piece, uh, our little slice of that uh, top of the building. We are by ourselves because no one can touch us because no one has the creativity that we have because we're different. 
So it's a new standard, which also alludes to the fact that some people might actually start copying them. So that little place that they have at the top will be filled and they will be lost in the mix, which means that they need to up the ante every time and be more like basically uh, set the stage even higher and go a level higher and higher and higher with each release and all that kind of stuff. So that is incredibly ambitious. The shot of them in the elevator going up to the final level. Uh, it was awesome. And uh, I really, really enjoyed this song a lot. The beat is nasty. Not only are they setting a standard, but they're also kind of like reminding you that you're not supposed to be like everyone else. So stop being afraid of, you know, being so humble and being so nice and so polite about everything because that is going to be mistake. Either way, somebody is going to misinterpret you and mistake you for someone that you are not, even if your best intention is to just be down to earth. Uh, and all that kind of stuff. So just be whoever you are um, and don't be afraid of being different. So that is kind of like a nice little reminder as we are surrounded by social media where everybody is just trying to follow a trend rather than set a trend. So I feel like there's a, a decent amount of like commentary on today's world and society. And I really appreciate that at the end of the day. So uh, it was also nice to read a little bit on this music video and the amount of effort that went into it. And it was absolutely uh, incredible. I can't even can't even imagine. I would look forward if there's like a breakdown behind the scenes of this music video. If you guys know, let me know. I'll gladly watch it just just on my own time because I'm interested in it. Uh, just seeing like a VFX breakdown and all that kind of stuff. Like the cars looked really really cool. Almost looks like if if Blade Runner Runner was an anime or something like that. That's kind of what it reminded me of. Uh, it was really awesome. And uh, the guys did a phenomenal job. So uh, I really enjoyed the song. It's probably one of my favorite songs of the year. And the beat is just nasty, honestly. And uh, uh, it's a total vibe. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this reaction, make sure to like this video. If you want to see more of Be First on this channel, let me know in the comments down below. And I will catch you all in the next one. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Have a wonderful weekend ahead. See ya.